So this morning I woke up and listened to one of my favorite astrologers, Steve Judd from the UK. And if you haven't watched any of his videos, I recommend watching the solstice number one. It is about 10 minutes and it is brilliant, absolute brilliance about what's going on in our world right now from an energetic perspective, from a planetary perspective, and just from a human perspective. And I felt really called to do a channeling for you. So this is my first ever live video channeling. So here we go. We are here. We are the galactic, we shall say light council. However, we simply wish you to know that we are light and we are love. And we are here at this time on this auspicious day to connect with you beautiful humans on planet Earth. It is a dark day. It is your darkest day. For your moon and your sun are the furthest apart on either side of your planet. And in this moment, around 11 a.m., Toronto, Canada time. The sun has obliterated the moon. Or we should say it has disappeared rather than obliterated. There is only one spot on your planet where this can be seen in the very furthest southern part the eclipse. It is a difficult time for you as humans right now, as you are traveling through what, what we would call a, a major transformation. And we are watching and we are curious as to see how you are going to process and progress through this time. Because there are many <clears throat> on your planet at this moment who are struggling with the effects of what has been domination. There has been a domination by, let's just say another group, another group of beings who have infiltrated your planet over a long time. And now, much like after an exterminator has been through. They are gone, but the remnants remain. There is some cleaning up required. And this is not a light process. This is not a short process. And this is not, let's say, to be left to everyone else. Each one of you has a responsibility we say if you wish to move forward into the light, for, for some of you, those souls do not. You wish to continue this energetic sphere that you find yourself in, this one of duality, polarity. But for many of you, this is not the journey that you came here for. You came here to expand. You came here to ascend. You came here to be love, to return to love to return to your hearts, to return to the one consciousness, which gets to play with itself in all forms, in all spheres, in all ways. But what do you do right now? The beginning stages of this transformation are, let's say, hidden from view right now. But this transmission is to bring for you the idea that you can, if you wish, shift your own energetic field. We have transmitted through this one and many other groups, let's say, have transmitted through this one ways that you can do that. All you have to do is run through any of the videos on her channel and you will be given clear instructions. But we repeat, being in the heart and less in the head, a natural place for you as humans to sit, but not the place where you would find yourself feeling calm and content. 
And so back to the heart, to love, to compassion, to peace, to unity, to calm. Now that's a difficult experience for you right now, for there are many pushing their continued old agenda on you. And are you willing to stretch yourself out of that space and begin to use all six of your senses? For up until now, most of you have only used the five senses that you have as humans. And now at this moment, at this very moment, your sun begins its return of being revealed to you with more light. It is in itself shifting and morphing and, cha and changing. Of course, you on your planet, you will not see this at this moment, but you will begin to feel it. You will begin to feel if you are tapped in, a certain amount of light and lightness coming forward. Yes, it won't be uh, something that is discernible at this time for just as the light takes seconds to increase on each day. So will this energetic field be created for you to step into. So in a sense, we're suggesting you step out of that circle of darkness that you have found yourself in for so long and step now into, and if you wish, an imaginary circle of light. Each and every morning as you rise with this beautiful sun that is your stargate. So as you rise, Imagine on your floor as you step out of your bed, a beautiful, bright, white light circle. And step into that. Allow it to wash over your body in such a way that your energetic field is illuminated, reignited, and you will be re inspired to move forward with more hope than you have had in a while. You are supported fully through the galaxy and the universe for consciousness knows what it wants in this planetary experience, in this human experience. It knows what it wants. It wants you to be in the heart. It wants you to be of love. It wants you to ascend back to that place that you came from, the one where there is peace, harmony. We should not say tranquility for mm, consciousness loves to play. It loves contrast. It loves adventure. And it also loves the sereneness of a still lake in the morning, the majesty of a mountain, snow-capped, and the playfulness of a puppy, and the smile of a youngster, and the gentleness of two elderly individuals walking hand in hand. And tender moments like this can be your norm if you close the door to all the circus that is going on around you and open your hearts to what lies in, within, and that is your truth, the truth you've always had. And as this one brings this message to you on this most majestic of days in your calendar, feel a sense of warmth even though this is your cold moon time and the darkest day of all in your year. We love you. We surround you with love. We surround you with warmth, with community, with peace. And we remind you that this is who you are. This is what you came here to be. 
and this is your journey moving forward. And with that, stay in love. And we are complete. Well, that's our message for you for today. I think it's beautiful. And the how to of that is not always easy. And so if you're looking for guidance, don't hesitate to reach out to me either on my website or through my email or calling me or even leaving a message here on YouTube. I would be delighted to assist you with this transition that we are going through. And until next time, be well. Thank you so much.